All right, there's one more basic transformation to go over, and that's the idea of doing a reflection. A horizontal reflection just flips. You know, what was on the left is now its mirror image on the right, and what was on the right now appears on the left, but mirrored. Vertical reflections will flip top and bottom. So, another way to say a horizontal reflection is a reflection about the y-axis. And the other way to say a vertical transformation is just as a reflection about the x-axis. And that's all these do. f of minus x, since the minus is as close as it can get, it reflects horizontally, and the vertical transformation is where the minus isn't as close to the x as it could be. It's outside here, and that's going to do a vertical flip. So, if we take a look at an example of this, look something like 6 on page 121. And in 6, the original function that we're looking at, the basic function that we're looking at is x squared. And the two transformed versions of this are as follows. We have minus x squared for g, and for h, we have parentheses minus x, and then square. So while this negative looks like it, it's as close as it could be to the x, in a sense, the exponent comes first, because this minus 1 is just, this minus is multiplication by minus 1, and exponents come first. So the negative isn't going to come first, it isn't as close as it could be to the x. Whereas here, with the parentheses around the minus x, the minus is the first thing to touch the x, and then the square will be the second thing. So here, h is where the minus is as close as it can be to the x. This is f of minus x. So what we'll get here is a reflection, a horizontal reflection, or a reflection about the y-axis. And for g, since the minus isn't as close as it could be, that makes it a vertical reflection. So this is a reflection, a vertical reflection, or a reflection about the x-axis. And that covers all the basic kinds of transformations that we can have.